I'm in love with Mary J. She's my main thing. She makes me feel all right. She makes my heart sing and never feel low. Comes at no surprise. Fill me up with her love. Take me to paradise. Do you love me, Mary Jane? Oh, do you, do you, do you, do you, do you, do you, do you? Now, do you think you love me, Mary Jane? Don't you play no game? Oh, good morning, family. Good afternoon. Good evening to you. Whatever side of the diaspora you may be on, I want to welcome you to this damn place. The nation is a mental damn house. Okay? Some of it is bad mentals. <laughs> But it is the mental house, nevertheless. And, y'all, we going through some crisis here in these states right about now. These white folks are not going to be completely satisfied until they blow us off the uh, face of the earth. This white man is going to destroy humanity and, and everything in it because of his inability to get along with others. I'm just going to make it plain. These western countries. Are out of control. You got Biden. Listen. Shall I go into this craziness? Shall I really go? Or can y'all see the handwriting on the wall? All the great civilizations. Had the uh, smell of extinction in their nostrils. And, um, and this damn whore over here, America, is not going to be any different. Because guess what? Not only they talking threatening nuclear war. Look what the hell is going on inside the country. Do you get a break? I feel just like my grandmama when she used to say, um, I woke up this morning with my mind. Stayed on Jesus. Oh, remember that? Oh, hallelujah. You can't keep your mind wrapped around none of this crazy stuff that go on on a, a second. Break it down uh, below a second, millisecond. That Satan and all this madness goes on. You got women throwing babies in garbage cans. You got men toe-tagging women. You got uh, just uh, um, white supremacists uh, killing people. You got police on the force that don't need to be there, black and white. You got people who are completely narcissistic completely mentally ill, completely arrogant, and full of they self, and they all seem to be running towards these jobs in the police department. Some job that give they sick ass some kind of authority over other people so they can stomp them down, uh, do them how those uh, men did Tyree Nichols. We have lost our way. We have lost our way. As a society, we have lost our way. One of the things I was glad to hear yesterday was Eliezer and uh, uh, and the suit that uh, Malcolm X family is putting in against the federal government and New York Police Department. And I dare any one of y'all and the FBI and the CIA, same way they allegedly, no, it's been proven, they killed Martin Luther King, the same way they did that, same way 
if we would pull out all these damn uh, uh, murders, Fred Hampton, you want, you know, I mean, he was a baby. Just like Tamir Rice is, it don't tick tock, it don't stop. And y'all want to know why I call this place the mental house? We are all so, so traumatized. By this damn great Babylon whore called America. And we got the nerve to call it the United States. United. Uh, you think the creator and the creation is going to allow you get away with this hypocrisy. You was under grace. And you don't seem to be able to know it. Because you built the country on lies and thievery and murder and all that kind of stuff. You have a chance to redeem yourself. You have a you can't fix what you can't face. And you know what y'all do? Y'all go around and have some devil, uh, dissanctimonious, uh, dis, dis Satan that will go and take all the books out to school. Who's seen? It was a book called... Uh, Fahrenheit 411. It was about the removal. I believe that's what it was. 411. The removal of the books out of society. This is fascism. And y'all don't even know it. And because these people aren't original. And we depend on them for the, the government to advance. It'll never happen with them in control. That's why it's going to be destroyed. It'll never happen. Because they can't keep doing anything but the same story, the same song and dance, racism, uh, you know, poverty, all these things that they create. They either amp them up or tone them down, amp them up, tone them down constantly, messing with the uh, knobs on the damn stove. Now we got to worry about nuclear shit. Man, I <laughs> all I can say um, is this. If we don't, if I mean, I don't know, it's, it's too far gone. So I don't know what to say. All I can say is. What y'all think about it? I want to know from y'all. Leave some comments, please. I want to know what y'all think about the time that we living in. Because most of y'all are pretty intelligent out there. And every time y'all do decide to leave a comment, you leave me stunned. You leave me staggering. I'd be like, yes, and you're absolutely correct. That's if I can get y'all to participate. Because it's real serious what's going on here. Now, I know if I be on here talking about the latest gossip all day, every day, that I would have more interaction. But that's not what I choose to do. I'm, I'm, I'm way past that. And putting that on the scale of the universe, it don't weigh nothing. So I got to talk some real shit. Excuse my language. I have to talk the real stuff in order for me to feel whole. Okay? Not this craziness. But I I mean, I honor and respect anybody that do. I, it has its moments. As you know, sometimes I do. But right now, we in a crisis. And I just want to take the pulse on most of the people that listen. It's like, are y'all checking, watching this stuff? Or is it just completely over your head? Am I just the only nerd or the person that just think about stuff like, what the hell is getting ready to happen to us in this beloved country? Somebody get mad because I say that. Um, and, and because I say I'm an American, you know. Well, listen. Those of us who have grandmamas or grandfathers or just... The old folks that told us that, you know, yeah, you was Cherokee or you had some Blackfoot or your grandma or most of them have had some Indian in their blood or Native American. I'm sorry. Well, that's because we 
are the Native Americans. Okay? So, whatever you stand and however you stand on the situation, what do you think about the situation that we got ourselves in as a country that's supposed to be united? What y'all think? And if you would let me know, I would really appreciate it. Because that's the only way we're going to converse with one another. And keep our uh, hands on the pulse of, of, of society. Anyway, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, share the channel. And I'm going to see you in the next video.